What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 ISRT News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hi there, and welcome to a new episode of News Bites. I'm Nancy Sun, and I'm Trevor Tortomasi. In today's news, Taiwan bakers win big in France. A zoo escapee finds a faraway home. And would you eat poop ice cream? All that and more coming up next. Top of Taiwan. Taiwan 首获世界面包大赛团体冠军 Taiwan bakers win big in France. The Coupe du Monde de la Boulangerie, or the World Cup of Baking. 世界杯面包大赛 is one of the world's top baking competitions. It began in 1992. At that time, an important chef named Christian Vabre decided to hold a competition. He wanted to encourage Guli people to make better breads. He also wanted the contest to bring the best bakers in the world together. This year, eleven teams from all over the world went to France to take part in the competition. Each team was made up of three chefs, 厨师面包师傅 and a coach. Taiwan sent a team too, and together the three chefs competed in different categories, including breads of the world, 世界各地的面包 sweet Viennese pastries, 维也纳糕点 artistic piece, 艺术面包 and gourmet baking. It was very exciting to see Taiwan win first place at the competition, especially since it beat the winner from the last World Cup, South Korea. Taiwan's 代表团在法国巴黎举行的第十一区世界面包大赛夺下团体冠军 During the last World Cup of baking in 2020, Taiwan came in second place. Other countries in this year's competition were Denmark, France, Norway, the Netherlands, and South Korea. This year, South Korea didn't make it to the podium because the Netherlands took second place and Norway placed third. After the team received their trophy, Jiang Bei, Team Taiwan's supporters sang the national anthem. Coach Wu Wuxian said he was very happy to help Taiwan win because it let the world know that Taiwan was number one. President Tsai Ing-wen must have been excited about it too because she sent a message congratulating members of the team. Going global. 绕跑红鹤找到新家 A zoo escapee finds a new home. What would you do if you saw a flamingo, Honghe, in the wild, Ye Wai, and outside a zoo? That's a question one fishing guide named David Foreman had to ask himself when he saw a flamingo in South Texas. He says his customers often tell him they see flamingos, but they are usually wrong. What they see instead are pink spoonbills, Megui Pilu, that are everywhere in the area. But Foreman says he really saw a flamingo standing on one leg. 一位德州渔夫钓鱼时意外地发现一只从动物园跑出来的红鹤 If you saw a flamingo on television or in real life, you would know that flamingos are very interesting birds. They are large birds, usually colored bright pink. We see pictures of them standing on one leg in the water all the time. They like sleeping and they like preening, 用嘴整理 or cleaning their feathers with their beak, 鸟嘴 What we don't normally see in zoos or in pictures is that flamingos can fly. They like flying at night. This helps them avoid other animals that might want to eat them. They can also fly at speeds of about seventy kilometers an hour, and they can fly as far as six hundred forty kilometers in just one night. That's probably how this crafty, 狡猾的机灵的 African flamingo got to Texas. He escaped Tao Chu from a zoo in Kansas that is nearly a thousand kilometers away. 
Doing this by driving in a car would take more than ten hours. But the flamingo had plenty of time to make the trip. Zoo officials say he escaped back in 2005 with another flamingo. While his friend was never seen again, the Texas flamingo probably survived because he found a suitable, 适合的 environment to live in. Today's feature. 你会吃 poop 表情符号冰淇淋吗 Would you eat poop ice cream? Would you eat ice cream that looks like the poop emoji? 表情符号、huh? Burger King in Brazil is hoping you will. The company is using the poop emoji to promote Tuishao, its latest ice cream. They say this new ice cream uses only natural 自然的 ingredients 配料 The ad for this special new ice cream shows the poop emoji along with its eyes and mouth sitting on top of an ice cream cone. 巴西汉堡王最新的冰淇淋利用 poop 表情符号做广告。The ice cream will only be around for a short while, and it will only be sold from a special ice cream truck. We don't know if the ice cream will make it to Taiwan, but we can think of a few people that will be excited to see it here. Can't you? The recap. So, in today's news bites, Taiwan's top baking chefs took part in an international baking competition. To do this, they had to travel to France. They beat ten other countries to win gold. A fishing instructor says he saw a flamingo in South Texas. That flamingo escaped from a Kansas zoo in 2005. Flamingos can travel great distances, so it's no surprise that he survived the trip. And Burger King in Brazil is selling a new kind of ice cream. This one has no artificial ingredients. And it's using the image of a poop emoji on an ice cream cone to sell it. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we want you to have your say about smells. We are so busy using our eyes all day for watching movies, scrolling through IG, and so many other things. Sometimes we forget about another important sense: our sense of smell. Smells can give us all kinds of different feelings. It can also bring back special memories. Tell us about your favorite smell. Record your message and send it to newsbites n e w s b i t e s at i c r t dot com dot t w with your name and age, and if you'd like the name of your school, make sure to send us your recording by Thursday at noon, and you might hear your message on our show on Friday. I C R T 与教育部国民及学前教育署下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app and 网站也能重复收听 More local and international news next time on News Bites. Brought to you by the K to 12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app.